Vicki Peterson here from Root Cause Medical Clinic and I want to talk to you today about a reason behind your brain fog. So if you suffer from brain fog, we're going to discuss one of the major reasons why you might do so. Whether you're a man or a woman, a lot of times women are more associated with brain fog or um, moodiness because like, oh, they have a menstrual cycle. And that's true, we do. But um, what's true about your brain is that every cell in your brain has receptor sites, meaning binding sites, uh, for sex hormones. So if you do not have sufficient sex hormones, you will feel it mentally, cognitively. So whether it's memory, whether it's that feeling of brain fog, uh, there's a variety of ways that patients will explain it but it comes down to the fact that your brain is not functioning the way you want it to. You don't have that clarity, you don't have that speed of function that, that you like. That has been compromised. So uh, do know that anatomically, both men and women, we need adequate sex hormones throughout our lives to, to have the cognitive function and avoid the brain fog. So that's number one. And then I also wanted to talk to you about how these hormones get compromised. Regardless of your age, in our environment these days, we have things called endocrine disruptors. And that basically is looking at uh, chemicals, pesticides, preservatives, plastics. There's a lot of different endocrine disruptors. And your endocrine system has to do with your reproductive system, also your thyroid and your adrenals, and that's your endocrine system. So it's disrupting it by nature of creating symptoms that you should not have. So what happens is, and it's different for men and women, a lot of these endocrine disruptors mimic estrogen. And for we women, estrogen is one of our major two hormones. Men have some estrogen, but not very much. They're mostly testosterone but we women have some testosterone. So we both have all three, it's just in, in vastly different ratios. So what happens with the endocrine disruptors in women is that they, they come in and they're estrogen-like and they kind of boot out the normal estrogen. So your body thinks there's a lot of estrogen around, so it then produces less. And we're seeing this in a variety of ways. One is that young women, in their 20s, 30s, who should have nice, high, healthy levels of these reproductive organs, I'm sorry, hormones, um, they look almost menopausal. So we take their blood, we look at their hormonal levels, and at the you know, time of the month, which you know, things should be nice and high, they're very, very, very low. And when this first started happening, it was probably about a decade ago now, and I started talking to other friends who were clinicians like like us at root cause and um, sure enough this was something that more and more people were were seeing so it wasn't it wasn't lab error this was really these young women who didn't have enough um, estrogen and and this is the reason so we look the handling is to look at your environment and see what endocrine disruptors we can avoid that are avoidable like something like pollution or you know there are certain things you can't get away from but you can do some dietary changes you can avoid GMOs you can avoid highly processed foods um, you can not put plastic in a microwave <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can do lifestyle wise that really will lower your body burden and that's what we call it the body burden of these these uh, chemicals coming in the other part that's very important is that there is an inevitable body burden of various toxins coming in, and, and that's totally fine as long as your body gets rid of them well. So it's not just about the body burden, it's about your ability to then excrete those toxins. And if you're really good at that, then it's great. We don't, we don't have to worry about it. So that's looking at your digestive system, looking at your liver, and so these are the things that we look at when we see this imbalance. And once again, this can happen to women of all ages. So a menopausal woman can have much lower hormones than she should because of this. This environmental 
endocrine disruptors, and then young women, again, can start having issues with a variety of symptoms, including infertility, um, but brain fog. So uh, again, that brain absolutely needs enough hormones in order to function the way it should. So a woman can have uh, PMS, irritability, um, lack of clarity of thinking, etc. So we want to look at those endocrine disruptors and your ability to get rid of them and the ability to have less coming in. So that's that parcel. Then there are the presence of birth control pills or uh, synthetic hormones, man-made hormones that can really offset your hormonal levels. That, that doesn't mean you can't have a form of birth control because you absolutely can, but um, there's other ways to do it and that's just another area to look at. The last area I want to look at is stress and stress levels, what they do is they will make stress hormones to deal with the stress coming your way and then imbalance your sex hormones. So literally the body has the ability to go, wow, there's a lot of stress. I'm just going to shunt away from making uh, sex hormones and I'm just going to make more hormones, you know, stress related hormones to deal with all this stress load. So what's interesting about stress is it can be uh, environmental, what's happening in your life, but it can also be coming from within because of a toxic load and certain other imbalances. So we have to decide why is your body doing that? Like what are those stressors? And when we say stressors, we don't just mean mental, emotional stress, but physical stress as well. So we have to discern where those are coming from and then get you in a better, better balance. It's all about that balance. You, the, the human body can deal with a lot as long as it's empowered to do so. And, and that's what we do. So it's, it's exciting. There's no drugs associated with it. But if you're suffering from brain fog, there's so much that can be done as long as you're willing to do some diet and lifestyle changes and we can hold your hand through that. So hopefully that was some good information for you. And if you want some more or you want to take advantage of a free consultation, then just visit our website at rootcausemedicalclinics.com.